Yeah, no, but who brings this to a poker game? Hopefully I don't get banned by YouTube, but... It's day one, I'm at uh, 108.5 kilos. Uh, it's March the 9th. And uh, I am starting my vlogging about uh, my poker weight loss. About uh, six, seven months ago, I started uh, going on the live circuit. Um, I traveled to Bratislava, Vegas a couple of times. And uh, it's been a serious disruption to my schedule, guys. <laughs> it's so tough when you travel somewhere for 20 hours, you sleep uh, in, uh, in the wind at Las, in Las Vegas, and uh, it's very, very far to get to shops. You know, you're playing until late. You never know how long you will play, uh, depending on how, when you bust out. And yeah, my uh, schedule, <laughs> my eating habits, uh, everything has been completely in disarray uh, with this new experience. On top of that, I'm adding content creation, trying to run this YouTube channel. Uh, the shorts are doing really well, but again, it, it takes a lot of time, you know. Uh, and I'm still trying to teach beginners how to play cash games. And I have a new course on poker strategy I will be translating bring into the English community. And this is so many things that I have to focus on. It's been really, really tough to uh, keep tabs on my health, you know. Uh, <laughs> I really started feeling that I'm unhealthy and I can definitely uh, feel that uh, I have slipped in that arena. So yeah, let's go guys, fitness journey. Uh, what are my goals? My goal isn't a specific weight, you know, fuck those prop bets. <laughs> you always, it, it gets views, it gets clicks, it can get you motivation in the short run, but no, really, um, I'm trying to take a different approach. I'm gonna try to be uh, healthy, see myself as healthy, and make lasting changes to my lifestyle while I'm adapting to the live event and live tournaments and this new schedule. Uh, so uh, that's basically what I'm gonna be doing. Obviously, I will be weighing myself. Uh, just to see some sort of a progress. But uh, number one thing for me is um, to basically, you will call this woo-woo, but uh, to believe that uh, I'm meant to be a fit person. That's basically the number one thing. Believing that you are meant to be fit and that it, uh, the unhealthy person you are, you know, uh, that, that's not you. So that's number one thing. I, uh, deep down, it doesn't, uh, it's not enough to just tell yourself, but deep down, uh, I really believe that I am meant to be healthy. I did realize that it was tough getting used to it. I did slip. Uh, so yeah, that's the number one thing. Uh, mental game of uh, fitness is to believe that you can be fit and uh, that you are a fit person, that you do the sort of things that a fit person would do. So this is my number one strategy. Uh, I will be using different tools. Uh, number one, <laughs> this is really cool. If you never heard of it, it's the Zombie Run application. Hey! hey get to see you in the flesh the totally unbroken skin not bitten by zombies flesh right uh, imagine that uh, you have walking dead but you have it in your phone and you are living it in the real world if you have imagination it definitely works it's basically uh, a told story that they have multiple voice actors you have sounds like helicopters flying around zombie sounds and stuff like that so I will be using that I'm on day two it's a 5k training that it starts Another thing I will be using is hardening. Uh, I'm on my way to the pond. I'm going to show you. Hey, watch until the end of the video when I show you how I jump into the fucking pond and uh, go in there in March. Hardening, if you don't know, is uh, basically going into cold water uh, and basically shocking your body. And there's so many research articles about this, why it's good for you. But uh, for me, number one thing is basically the mental aspect of it, you know? <laughs> It's like when you have a really tough fold on the river and you don't want to make it. But then you do, you know, you just, then you do and you know it's the correct fold against the opponent theoretically as well. And uh, you overcome your willpower and your opponent shows you <laughs> that they actually had it, you know. It's the same feeling uh, when you go into that cold water when you really, really don't want to, when everyone around you has jackets, you know. And uh, it really helps with the willpower and overall uh, feeling healthy, you know. When you go ahead and jump into a freezing water after a run or when you really don't, didn't want to, it's much easier to uh, say no to those unhealthy choices. Next thing, obviously, for me is going to be uh, nutrition. I got myself a big ass protein shake 
and I'm going to be uh, using that, eating more. It's still gonna be a fucking struggle, guys. Seriously, like the live circuit. Uh, yesterday, I had a tournament until 3 a.m. It was with my friends and... Uh, <laughs> when you are at a tournament uh, with your friends and there's uh, amazing lamb, we have uh, did a guy that uh, was a chef, shout out to Jan, professional chef, former one, makes a lamb, you know. <laughs> what is this? This is the poker game snack, right? <laughs> Yeah, no, but who brings this to a poker game? It's 3 a.m. and you are playing a tournament in a home game. Uh, there's all sorts of booze and everything you can drink, basically. <laughs> it was too hard to resist and uh, the thing about uh, seeing myself as, you know, someone who does live a healthy lifestyle is uh, when that happens, uh, I guess it's kind of inevitable uh, just the next day. Uh, try to realize that, go for a run, use those zombies run, go for the hardening. Try to live a little bit healthier. Uh, don't beat yourself up, number one. I think that's generally the most important. You know, people make these prop bets, they never last. Uh, they put up the weight again after they lose the prop bet, after this big shock came to their system. Uh, but I feel like uh, really focusing on uh, being healthy and seeing yourself as healthy and taking the choices as much as you can um, is going to be my approach while obviously measuring it as well but the measurements are not the primary goal <laughs> next thing a little bit controversial no fab uh, hopefully I don't get banned by YouTube but basically uh, I've done this I've lost about 30 kilos I don't know 10 years ago, something like that. And you know, <laughs> the, the point is, again, uh, you, you're controlling your willpower. <coughs> you know, watching those nasty movies, you know, you just being natural. And if you are frustrated, use it to exercise. So uh, this is going to be my approach. And actually, I kid you not, to make sure that I work out, I got myself a working out job. There is a company called PPL. Uh, that uh, delivers packages. <laughs> so I literally wake up at 3 a.m., go there a couple times per week for four hours, and uh, what you do is you handle those packages. You just throw them, you have exercise, you have functional power, uh, and uh, you actually get paid for this, you know? <laughs> and it's uh, actually a little bit of a routine. I know it's controversial that, you know, poker players start, try to stay away from normal jobs like the plague. Uh, but again, I'm learning tournaments, guys. I'm not making as much money as before. I didn't cash life yet. I am trying to start my YouTube uh, content and moving games. And having that a little bit of a structure uh, is actually really good. Just eight hours per week. And I must say it's fucking fantastic, you know. <laughs> you, you literally can go there when you don't feel like doing anything and you just do it because you have to you know because it's like you're on the schedule you actually are being paid for that and so many people stay away from these routines and uh, i must say after 10 years of only doing poker of actually adding some of these real life activities it, it, it really does help you it keeps you grounded it keeps you in touch with actual people and you know it's just literally eight hours per week why the hell not? Besides that, I do real life stuff as well. Uh, I do volunteering, for example, with some political stuff in the Czech Republic. Uh, <laughs> I helped organize rallies, drank with senators, and even met and spoke to the Czech president. I'm a to total dumbass when it comes to this. I have no idea even what the, who the ministers are, how they look like. Yet, <coughs> I'm involved in politics by talking to people, asking what their opinions are. And I'm a dumbass poker player who didn't even live in this country uh, mentally, really, ever since eight, I was 18. <laughs> so it's really like a good feeling to see people uh, that are dedicated, that want to improve their society, their country. And uh, let's face it, guys, poker, poker is awesome, but it is entertainment, okay? We're not like the primary improvers of life. So uh, it's nice to be around people who actually do care and uh, it seems like I balance my evilness in poker uh, with these activists and people that are politically active. Many, many times I completely disagree with them, you know. I disagree with what they say. 
Uh, but it helps me keep it healthy, you know, when you go and you organize a rally of uh, a couple hundred thousand people and you walk in between them, you, ha you hand them leaflets, uh, you act as security and organization there. <laughs> it actually helps you lose weight, it helps you to be actually active and having a fit lifestyle. So that's, that's, that's pretty good. So yeah, uh, that's gonna be my strategy. I'm still looking for any tips you guys might have. Uh, if you have any tips on how to get better, how to improve, uh, I'm all ears, let me know. And hopefully you will uh, enjoy the journey. Now, let's jump into that pond so you see what I'm talking about. Oh yeah, this is a nudist pond guys. Can't get in with clothes. Oh. I'll see you next time. Please subscribe and like this video.